Good morning and welcome to Quest Division and Quest 93.1 FM, the station that always goes beyond your expectation. Today is the eighth day in the month of September, a lovely Friday here in the studios, and I hope you're having a lovely Friday as well. With that being said, it is time for us to look into the headlines making the rounds on the dailies. My name is Urikemi Mariam, and welcome to the paper review on Quest today. Making a return back to the studio this morning are five newspapers. We have The Nation, The Punch, uh, The Daily Trust newspaper, The Nigerian Tribune, as well as The Vanguard newspaper. And you know, it is a Friday. It is always a full house. With me in the, this morning in the studio is my colleague, the person of Michael Gobadia. Good morning. Well, good morning to you, Miriam. Mm. And uh, you sound really excited that mm. there's no need asking. Uh, it's the weekend that I do know a lot of things will be happening and a reason for the excitement but but one thing that will not be happening is someone's ordination as no, a yeah, bishop no finally so no. at this point no. i'll take that no. and in introduce our admirable quest analyst the person of comrade ify odomo the bishop who will never get ordained oh, good morning and welcome uh, <laughs> yeah i do oh, oh, no, we'll, we'll take it to the tribunal I'm going to court. yeah okay. which one supreme this court is, or appeal court oh, this is my famous uh, 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 appeal court yeah. okay appeal court yes mm, okay I'm going, to I'm going to slam you with... Uh, with uh, <laughs> okay. Well, with that being said, let's head straight into the papers and forget about Commodore Dumbo's uh, <laughs> ordination. <laughs> mm -hmm. With that being said, the first paper for review will be the Daily Trust. And on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, the major headline reads, Atiku and OB reject judgment and head to Supreme Court. Uh, we have a couple of writers to that. The first says, legal battle to reclaim mandates just begins. And this is a statement from the ex-VP. Also, reasoning and conclusion unacceptable, says the ex Anambra governor. You will face another round of defeat, is a bold statement from the APC. And Akpabio and Kogi ask, or rather, Akpabio and Kogi governor ask Duo to accept the <coughs> verdict. All of that you can get on page four of the Daily Trust newspaper. Moving above the leading story, we have landslide kills 13 in federal capital territory and 19 kidnapped. Wow, a lot of, in fact, work has begun for Wiki at this point. Uh, but uh, do well to do, read all of that on page 6. Missing Foye nursing students' corpse found buried on campus. Yeah, if you've been following this story on the social media space, you understand what I'm saying. More on this story you can get on page 6 there. And also, leadership deficits held Nigeria back, says <coughs> President Tunubu. More on that you can get on page 5. Moving on, we have an organ harvest. It says police arrest doctor over woman's missing kidneys in Joss. Quite a gruesome one there. You can read more on that on page 16. And also, Sheikh Argungu buried Tunubu governors and speakers mourn. Get more details on that on page 26. Finally, we have South Africa reviews proposed hijab ban for nurses after outcry from Muslims is making it to page uh, 25. However, for the picture of the day, we can see the presidential candidates of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, and also the Labour Party. Party presidential candidate uh, Peter Obi during separate press conferences in Abuja and Onicha. Both pictures were taken yesterday. And that's much you can take on the front page of the Daily Trust. The punch will be the next paper for us to quickly look at. And on the punch this morning, APC Lapon's uh, Atiku Obi opposition attacks INEC. We're talking about the tribunal judgment. Uh, just a kick out to that. Judgment devoid of justice, says XVP Obi opposition plan beavers uh, hacking, as APC insists. But anyway, I insist you continue that story on page uh, two of the punch. Let's quickly get orders. Set up customer centers. Federal government tells discos on major one on page 19. And a probe rep summons Nimasa, MPA, NMPC, L, MDs, and others. And you can get why they have been suspended or rather summoned on page 22. Manufacturers pay 607 billion naira tax in six months. Wow, a huge one uh, from MBS. Uh, but let's quickly take other stories beneath the picture of the day. Akure Dolu returns now in Ibadan. Ondo assembly leader uh, that you can get out on page 18. Custom intercepts 692 million uh, Naira drugs and others along Ibedju, uh, Leki, uh, waterways. It's a major one, a breakthrough on page 2. As NIA demands security checks on foreign pools of servers. It's another major story on page 27. Uh, but the picture of the day and also a story you can get on page 27 is uh, passenger stranded as foreign airlines delay cancel flight at <laughs> NMIA. But anyway, mm -hmm. I know it's not going to affect me. I come there for a more. Definitely not. <laughs> no, we are going nowhere. But anyway, that's the much we take from the punch. Okay, right now I will be going to the Nation newspaper. 
And on the front page of the nation this morning, the major headline reads, Obi and Atiku, why we are challenging tribunal verdicts. Yes, there's a major story there. The writers there says, uh, don't go to Supreme Court, Bello, Wiki, and Bruce Orge, PDP, and Labour Party candidates. And also, judgment reinforce demo reinforces democracy and judiciary's vibrancy, says the APC. Uh, moving below that, you can see statements from OB, Atiku, and also the APC. But do want to read all of that on the front page and continue on page four of the nation. Moving above the mass head, we have Nigeria and Australia to partner on training of local miners. Quite an interesting one there. Uh, but a lot of people are asking, why are we having international interference in all of this? So can they train here in Nigeria? Uh, but more on that, you can get on page five. Customs stop defaulting banks from revenue collection is making it to page seven. And also, Akiro Dolu recuperating in Ibadan on return from vacation is making it to page six. Still on page six, Lagos Assembly drops two some will lose new nominees. Why? Get more on those details on page six, like I stated earlier. On all thefts, it says firms, MDAs, and host communities involved, says uh, security chiefs. Do want to read all of that on the front page and continue on page six. And moving on, we have Wike Tabuwa uh, killing PDP and should be suspended. This bold mm. statement is made by none other than Wike. Get more on that on page three. Moving on, Tinubu promises for the future, uh, better future with good leadership. Uh, more details you can get on page six. And Minister gives NIS two weeks to clear outstanding passports. It's making it to page four of the nation. For the picture of the day, we can see President Bola met Tinubu with some members of the Nigerian community in India after their meeting in New Delhi. Uh, most of that picture was taken uh, yesterday, and that's the much you can take on the front page of the nation. Well, the Vanguard is the next paper we'll quickly look at, and on the Vanguard, mixed reactions as Atiku will be here to Supreme Court. This seems to be making the rounds on all major dailies yes. today. Uh, now, we're talking about the election tribunal judgment as it's still there, uh, but the kicker to that, I will not validate mandate banditry. <laughs> Article adds, uh, we've lost a battle. There's war ahead. No relenting in my quest for justice. And uh, Peter will be saying that. But I plead with you, continue that story on page five. That's the much you can take there. Uh, Nigerian poor in leadership management. I'm not the one saying that, but the president himself, Tunubu on page nine. And Tati killed in Abuja landslide, 19 kidnapped. Uh, like we said, Wiki has his job already cut out for him on page 7. And NPCL not opposed to sale of Ajib sales to Orlando, says spokesman on page 3. And um, ranging storm over filled federal roads in Edo. Well, anyway, we've not heard the last of that, but I'll tell you to continue that story on page 22. Let's see if we continue with other story. Just been in the picture of the day. Food insecurity widespread nationwide as Lagos Bruno three others top charts. Wow, a very funny one on page nine. And uh, while crude oil theft, Nigerian law 16.25 trillion naira in 11 years, a reps speaker is saying that on page three. Telecom sector adds 16% of GDP in the second quarter of 2023. No surprise, uh, the tariff seems to be high. And CAF congratulates Osime on Balador nomination. Now I know why I need to have buy one ball for my son. But anyway, now the picture of the day is that Tunubu meets Nigerian community in New Delhi in India. And uh, you can understand he smiles and we learned uh, there were major uh, breakthrough as we're having more foreign persons from India coming in to invest in Nigeria. That's the much we can take from the Vanguard. All right. The last paper for review this morning is the Nigerian Tribune. And on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune newspaper, the, the major headline reads, Atiku and Obi, why we're going to Supreme Court. Yes, that is a headline there. It seems to be the same yeah. with that on um, the previous paper I took. Uh, but do us read all of that on page 3 and continue on page 27. Moving away from that, we have 10 arrested over killing of 200 level four year students. Uh, says uh, her, her body was found in a shallow grave behind the lecture hall. Wow. Uh, we'll sad, get more on that on sad. page 26. A sad one there indeed. Moving away from that, Akari Dolu returns and may hold meetings in Ibadan today. He's making it to page 8. Courts restrains or your government from installing or allowing you. Why? Get more story on page 23. And also on commission, as it says, Lagos Assembly confirms on Motor Shore, uh, by your me and 13 others, and rejects two. More on that story you can get on page 29. 19 kidnapped in FCC Council, and we came a hold emergency security meeting. Also, 30 die in landslide. Sad one indeed. Get more of star story on page 26. On page 8 of the Nigerian Tribune, it says uh, $46 billion crude oil stolen in Nigeria in 11 years, says the speaker. And uh, moving away, army court marshals 14 officers and 9 soldiers for various offenses. Get more on that story on page 29. 
And well, for the picture of the day, we can see uh, the presidential candidate of the PDP, uh, vice, uh, and former vice president of Nigeria, Tuku Abubakar, addressing the press at the national secretariat of the PDP in Abuja. That picture was taken on Thursday. And what has the most you can take on the front pages of all the dailies I mentioned earlier, which is The Nation, The Punch, The Daily Trust newspaper, The Vanguard, as well as The Nigerian Tribune. And at this point, you could call into the show and well, talk on the matters making the rounds on the dailies. The numbers to call are on your screen. And for those who are on radio, the number still remains 80 double two nine three one nine three one as you raise one double eight triple eight nine three one with that being said let's take our first call for today hello good morning hello good morning hello good morning well while we're waiting for those calls to connect up probably michael you want to try well uh, let, let's see if i'll try and uh, we'll get those calls coming in like she said we we'll always appreciate it if you turn down the volume of your radio or tv set or just walk away from where it is so it doesn't have any interference with the calls and please just go straight to it the time is not a friend uh, we need to take uh, some few calls to have to see how we can do it. Uh, hello, good morning to you. Hello. Okay. Hello, good morning, my career. Oh, better now. Uh, good morning to you. I guess that must be Chief Duku. Yes, it's me. Oh, please go ahead. Yes, uh, it will be an article. Hello. 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 Oh, it looks as if we're really having issues with uh, those connections. Uh, but please, with you, let that not really deter you or push you away from it. Uh, let's see if we take more calls. Mm. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Well, indeed, it looks as if we're really having issues. Uh, but we feel, Comrade Romo, you can really yes. help to react to some of them. Well, Comrade, what first speaker was trying to talk about, it's actually making it rounds on all the dailies this morning. It says, Ubi and Atiku are heading to the Supreme Court. Now, my question to you is this. We've heard from the appeal courts. Do you think the verdict will be different when they get to the Supreme Court? Because right now we have other people like Bruce and some other people telling them not to bother to go to and go and appeal again at the Supreme Court. Do you think the results will be different this time around? Yeah, we cannot say yes, we cannot say no. Maybe they have some reasons uh, that they want to go to the Supreme Court because they felt that they were, they were short-chained in the appeal court. You know, it's good for a man to try that, not to try at all, because we will not come up to say that if I had done it, I would have got yeah, it. Yeah, different results. So let them try all they could. Every man on earth is is entitled to a position he is contesting for, and as a as a Nigerian, they, they have the, they have the right to contest for any position. Mm. So if they feel that they won the elections and they have enough reason or more reason to to put forward in the Supreme Court, they are very free to go. The Supreme Court is the last uh, stage of a judiciary. So. Let them head to the court. And, and, and our laws uh, g permits them to yes, do to so. Yes, to, yeah. to get to that to get to that level, so they are still within their own yeah. right to do to do so. Hmm. Okay. Well, okay, but la la let's quickly look at um, sixteen point five four trillion naira are uh, stolen crude oil <coughs> theft uh, in the last uh, eleven years. And funny enough, the, the House of Assembly uh, speaker, National, uh, yeah, uh, the House, the House, of the House of Representatives is speaking out that loud. Um, do you see, feel he's um, economical with the truth, or you feel he's even um, a bit lower than that, or what's your reaction to it? Definitely, what they have taken away is far, far more than the figures they are putting forward. So it's a bit economical with the truth? It's a bit economical with the truth. Oh. Because if you, if, you, uh, if you see the vessels that come to steal this crude, like the one that missed its way to Udu Bridge uh, about, uh, last month or so, what volume of uh, crude would that, vehicle be, would that uh, vessel be carried? Translate it into dollars and then bring it back to Naira. You know how much that only that one vessel would have taken away. It is even better not to say it at all because it gives some people so much ache when you hear this type of news and you are struggling to even have uh, two meals in a day. And oh. somebody is talking about it, so it's a simple something trillion. If they know that this crude has been taken, when they were stealing, do you, do you record the level of stealing? Is there any accounting books that record stealing? Mm -hmm. How do they get, uh, uh, get, get that figures? figure? Mm -hmm. And number two, who and who was prosecuted for those uh, stealing? If no, if, if you are not arrest anybody, if you are not prosecute anybody, why tell us how much that uh, that, that, that was been stolen away from the show? We should just let the whole thing lie down like uh, every lizard that lies flat. Nobody knows the one that is having a stomach ache, but you do know. An empty stomach is not a good political advisor. They should not tell us this state that so much money is missing. Why so many people are, are, are on uh, hunger? Self-inflicted hunger strike. Hmm. Okay, well, come here. You have spoken well, but let's take. Let's see if we can take calls now. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning, and welcome to the show. Your name and your location, please. This is Mr. Lucky Kali from Awolowo. 
All right, Mr. Lucky <laughs> Pop, please have your say. Yeah, I want to talk on the OB and Atiku to the Tunubu case. Yeah. Your reaction from the judgment. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you yesterday when uh, Makere and uh, the three barristers were really analyzing the, the judgment. Yes. You know, the three barristers yesterday, they were on the same page. Mm. But every name man, I believe, is on another page. So I wanted to really ask that is it really possible that after the, the legislature must have and not obey the law, is it not possible that the, the judiciary will come to really interpret the common man so that they will understand? Mm. And I believe from the anal analysis yesterday, supposing OP and the article really understand these opinions, I don't know that see any need for them to go to, to court. To court in the first so place. for me, I believe it is important they should come so that they will after the, the, the law, they should interpret it to the common man so that mm. You, you 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 should not go to court and uh, be, begin to pursue shadow. Hmm. So that is just my take. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Lockie. And uh, more reaction of um, that of the judiciary, especially yeah. as uh, the tribunal gave its verdict a day before yesterday. Uh, Miriam, do we still have time to take a call? No, we no longer have time okay. at this point, yes. Uh, but well, comrade, yes, thank you very much for being on air with us today. It's been a beautiful week. We've had a lot to talk about today. Have a lovely Friday and bye for now.